Hello and welcome to another tutorial demon tutorial. I'm gonna help you fix a very very common issue with uh, PCSX. Um, this is a common emulator problem. You may have a better version. You may have a newer version than mine, but it should work on all versions. So you get into a game and you notice that there are a bunch of bunch of messed up mm, glitches, like the textures for the characters and shit. It just looks messed up. Half of their body goes invisible. So there are three things you can do to fix this. Number one, I want to get right out the way is use a different BIOS. This is a very, very important thing. Um, if you're using, if you're playing a Japanese-only game with the common U.S. BIOS, then problems will occur. And I will make a future tutorial on how to change your BIOS. But if you want to know where it is, it's in plugins and BIOS. If you already have it downloaded, uh, which you most likely you don't, you have to download the Japanese BIOS and use that or the European BIOS use whichever BIOS the game requires okay and you have to download that first so download that BIOS and then use it so if you're playing a Japanese only game like a game that was only released in Japan like Berserk or Hunter x Hunter then you're gonna find so many problems like half their body is gonna be missing because you're using the USA BIOS and not one of these so yeah okay so besides that the only other thing uh, you go to plugin settings and you can change it to software that will that usually instantly fix all problems right there that's the ultimate fix change it to software uh, direct the direct 3d 11 software perfect right there um, but if you still want to keep the graphics looking great which I personally do then you can enable texture filtering texture filtering actually it fixes, it doesn't fix everything 100%, but it fixes 70% of all the graphical errors that can occur in the game. Like half the body being missing, uh, sometimes a character's arm, their left arm could be missing, or their right leg could be colored wrong. That still is a problem, but texture filtering fixes half their whole fucking body being missing, so. Now, hold on. If that is a problem, then enable texture filtering. The only problem is texture filtering is more demanding. I have a GTX 970, so I can put all this up to max, no problem. But if you have a less powerful graphics card, then just change it to software because texture filtering will uh, it, it will be more performance demanding. So press OK and just reboot this fast right quick. Uh, this, I'm playing Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tengaiji 2 which actually deals with, I have it in turbo mode, so the FPS is going pretty fast, so I can get past all the loading. But yeah. Th that is just a common problem that occurs, and like I said, this is... Continue. Very loud, it's very loud. Let me just mute it right quick. Okay, it's muted. I love the music of this game. It's just too loud, though. So we do a free battle right quick, and we'll play with Yamcha. There we go, y Yamcha. Even though, yeah, he is the worst of the world. Yeah, okay. Play play with Yamcha versus. Here we go. I'll probably lose this battle. But yeah, see, now I'm going to show you there are probably still going to be some graphical errors, but not as much as there were before. When I first loaded up this game, half of Goku's body was a different color, and Vegeta, I don't even want to talk about what happened to poor Vegeta. But as you can see, Yamcha's shirt is slightly miscolored, and that Sabaman's overall tint is a little bit dark green, where it should be bright green. So there still is a little bit of a problem. But not nearly as much as there was before. And I'm going to get... Yup, yup, yup. Because he's Yamcha. So, yeah. But... Oh, yeah. And I still have the turbo boost on. Which is why things seem to be going too fast. Shit. Turn that off. There we go. So, turn the turbo boost off. You can play it at 60 FPS. Which is actually pretty good. Because originally this game is supposed to be played at 30 FPS. So, just note that. I believe 30 or 35 was the original FPS scaling for this game when it came out on PlayStation 2. So the fact that I'm playing at uh, 60 FPS is pretty damn good. But like I said, texture filtering will decrease performance. And like I said, there were three solutions. So the third solution, if that does not work for you, if that doesn't do it all the way, uh, the third solution... <coughs> oh. Either change that to software or hardware and put texture filtering on, but if that does not work for you, uh, then there is another option in that option. Go to video, I believe, uh, 
I can't remember plugin and bio selector. Go to yeah, go to plugin and bio selector. Go to plugins. Different games for some reason with different games, different plugins work better. Uh, when I'm playing Star Wars: The Force Unleashed, I believe having this plugin on the uh, SSE 41 plugin is better. But when I'm playing any other game, having the SSE 2 plugin, I, I don't know the plugin. So just play around with the GSDX plugins. Play around with these one, two, three. Four or five. So there are five plugins and try each one of these on your game to see if that helps fix the problems that they're having. I know for me it helped fix the instant crash problem which is when you load up a game, you play it for a little bit then it crashes out of nowhere. So that really does help and it may actually improve your performance to just try each and every one of these plugins to see which one works best with the game you're playing. I've already found which one works best for most of my games but you might want to play around with that. Yeah, so that is basically the quick fix. Well, the three quick fixes. So remember, if you're having a problem, you should try to turn on texture filtering. But if your computer is not strong enough to handle texture filtering, or if you find the bugs, or if you find the graphical errors just too bad, even with texture filtering, then, like I said, you know that slight tint on the Sam Amin and Yamcha shirt. Then if you find it still is too bad, then try messing around with your different plugins. And if that isn't it, remember GDX only. G, I mean not GDX, GSDX only. Only play around with those plugins, not any of the other ones. The other ones do not work and they will most likely crash your games as they have for me. So yeah, so play around with these five plugins right here to see exactly which one is the best for your game. And besides that, if all else fails, if you just can't seem to fix it, then go with software mode. Uh, the only thing is software mode will make things look less beautiful, but software mode is the ultimate fix. Just keep that in mind. Alright, this has been another Tutorial Demon Tutorial. I'll see you later.